Okay, here's another example. We have Bob and his son Ryan go out fishing every Saturday in a stocked trout pond. Once caught, the fish are weighed and returned to the water. This, the mean mass of the fish is 340 grams, standard deviation is 30 grams. Assume a normal population. So that means that my fish, my fish are normal with a mean of 340 and a standard deviation or a variance of 30 squared. I want to find a probably that I catch of 10 trout. So this is n is equal to 10. My sample size is 10. I'll have a mean weight of more than 350. So I want to find that the probability that my, my mean fish is bigger than 350 grams. Okay, to do so, that means I need to find to find f bar. So f bar will be, uh, let me write it so we can read it. So f bar will be normal with a mean of 340. That's from the central li limit theorem. We know that this is the expected value of one fish, so the average of it should be the same. However, the variance or standard deviation is going to be the variance of the population divided by n, the number of the sample size. And so if I want to find this probability, if I think about my normal curve, here is 340, here is 350, looking for that area. So I plug that into my calculator with these values, I end up getting the value of 0.456. Okay, so this is using the idea of a sample means. Here's the sample means. B part talks about if a net can handle 7 kilograms, find that probably will be able to catch 20 trout. So n equals 20. In the net, without breaking it, be careful of the units. Okay, so if I clean this up a little bit, okay, I'm, I want to do that. So I'm looking for, I have 20 fish I'm dealing with, right? So I'm gonna look for the total fish. And base is gonna be a fish one plus fish two plus, all the way up to fish 20. Well then my, random variables still going to be normal. My total, each of these expected values is 340, and there's 20 of them, so it's going to be 20 times 340, which is 6,800 kilograms, grams. The variance, well, the variance is going to be, of each one is 30 squared, and there's 20 of them, so it's going to be 20 times 30 squared is my variance. And I'm looking for the probability that I can catch 20 trout without breaking it. So I'm looking for the probability that my total is less than or equal to, well, 7,000 grams. That's what I'm looking to find. So if I go to my calculator, my distributions, go to my normal, my lower limit, if I think about the graph here, this time, here's my mean of 6,800. 7,000 is here. I'm looking for this side here. So my lower limit is some negative big number. This is going to be 7,000. The mean is 6,800. 6. And the standard deviation is going to be the square root of 20 times 30 squared. And so I plug that in and it tells me the probability of my net not breaking is 0 0.932. So in the first example, I use the idea of the central limit theorem to find the average. In the second one, I use the idea of uh, sample sums. I could have done this one by 
uh, the central limit theorem as well, if I would have divided this by 20, and so this would have been an appropriately uh, valued thing relative to 20.